for thinking And I came with a gift with scorn in Like I've been up all morning Whipping a dish, blow a kiss to your portrait <laughs> What's going on guys, how's it going? In this video I'm going to show you all how to do the water ripple effect. Now this effect does look good on single shots like snipers and shit and multi shotguns like an AK-47 for example, but in this video for this purpose I'm going to show you how to do it on one gun which is a sniper. So, we're going to drag in a clip, just ignore this system music file here and I'm just going to set that to full. So now we can see this clip here, if we play it through it, it's like it's fucked, then disable resample, just remember to disable resample because it is a fucking bitch at adding these sort of blurred frames in between and now this clip is somewhat smooth. So what we want to do is we want to find where we take the shot. Now we could do it on the hit marker here, as you see the hit marker just comes on the screen there and we could split it there and do the effect there, but that's not really where the um the guy shoots the gun so if we come back to here you can see that around here this is where we see the muzzle flash so that's when the bullet is shot so if we hit the S key there we split it we hold the control key and we drag the clip up that will copy the clip and then we um, go on the fade option and fade this clip out now if we go into transitions here we go down to iris you'll find this one circle white border circle, white, circle out white border if you um, drag that over to this here and then pull this clip up here, go to feather and put it all the way up to one, up to max and then you will um, you will have this here. Now we have the ripple effect but it's just white and looks like, well, it looks like shit. So if we go down to here we click on this button down here and we go to custom and we click on to height maps, click add and ok and we hit the drop, well you don't, you're not going to have this re um, reset, what the fuck am I not? You're not going to have this preset so we're just going to click on um, and you're going to copy these ones down. So if we go on to amplitude, you'll go to 0.45. Elevation is 150. Height scale is 1. Smoothness is 20. Make sure you have the wrap around pixel or it will do this if I click. If I click here and we don't have wrap pixel around, you'll see the black um, because that's the ripple where it's rippling out and pulling the frame inwards. So yeah, make sure that's on, make sure this is on intensity. And that's pretty much the entire effect. I'll just quickly show you it. Yeah, it looks pretty fucking sick. So now we can sort of, or well, we don't need this one, so we can just set that to one side. You guys are still gonna need this one if you're sort of editing a clip, but now I'll uh, come over to here. And I've got a clip here, so I've got some black bars here. I've got my ripple effect here and I've got my clip using velocity I've synced it to the um, music track that I have down here and I'll just show you what it looks like when it's all brought together Wishful thinking and I came with a gift with scorn in like I've been up all morning whipping a dish blow a kiss to your portrait Oh, uh, as you can see it looks pretty fucking sick when it's all brought together I've added some colour correction on top of it as well and it just sort of helps pull it all together and that's pretty much the effect guys it's not going to look pretty good, it, blah, 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 blah. it's not going to look any good by itself, but when it's all brought together it's going to look sick as fuck. So add some black bars, send it to the music, throw some other effects on it like colour correction and whatnot, and you're going to have yourself a pretty fucking awesome montage. That's pretty much it for the videos, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!